Yo, what up? Kenny Bogus Taste This. Yo, welcome to another exciting adventure in Kenny's Kitchen with your boy Young Kitchen. That would be me. And yo, this week, man, we back in the vein of true comfort food. You know what I'm talking about? And what I'm going to do today is going to be better than regular old crackers, baby. Better than regular old crackers. It's going to be like rich crackers. Something like that, baby. We're going to hit y'all with the Kenny's Kitchen meatloaf. You're about to see it right here, right now. Taste this. Judge. Let's go. Okay, so getting started on this meatloaf, we got a few simple ingredients. I'm going to show y'all how to make the flies meatloaf ever. And what we got here, you get you a couple eggs, two to three eggs. I'm just going to use two eggs. And uh, we're going to start by cracking them and uh, whipping them up like so. We're going to add that right to this big bowl right here. All right. Then you're going to get you a box of Ritz crackers. See that Ritz? The Ritz, baby. Ritz, yep. Yeah. You're going to take a sleeve of them, though, just a sleeve, and you're going to crush them up, add that to the mixture, like so. You're going to take one uh, small onion, dice it up finely, put that in the mix. And you can get like a half a cup of... Uh, Half a cup of, uh, and this is optional, you get a half a cup of uh, uh, di finely diced uh, green peppers. I had some frozen. Which will work perfectly. Then we're going to add like four ounces of shredded cheddar. I use a mild cheddar. And I grated it fresh. We're going to mix all these ingredients up. Voila. All right, and then next we're gonna get two pounds of uh, ground beef, or you get your ground turkey, whatever you want to use. I'm gonna get ground beef. If you use beef with this recipe, I will recommend that you get an 80/20, so you got a little bit of fat. You can go leaner, but you don't want it to be too lean. And uh, we're gonna add that to the mix. Okay, then I'm gonna uh, put my gloves on and give this a real good mix, like so. We got a nice little mix on that thing, and now what we're gonna do is uh, create a little loaf. We're gonna get a uh, a baking sheet, and I prefer a baking sheet over like a, uh, one of those little containers. You don't wanna steam the meat, so get like a flat baking sheet, and uh, you can line it with either aluminum foil or parchment paper, and make a young loaf, like we about to do right here. Just like that. And I got a... Uh, oven preheated to 350 degrees and what we gonna do once we got this loaf set up like this we're gonna put it in there for 30 minutes okay and while that's going down we're gonna make a sauce to go on top of it so we're gonna take uh like a half a cup you can actually get a cup half a cup to a cup of uh, ketchup but i'm gonna use a half a cup got a half a cup of ketchup that should do it yeah half cup i'm eyeballing and I'm going to match that with like a half a cup of sweet chili sauce. You probably saw this before. Some of my recipes. It's delicious. Nice little spin. Okay, that should do it. And on top of that, we're going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar. That I already had ready. And a teaspoon of mustard. Yellow mustard. So we got that whisked up to a magical perfection. Oh yeah, and a couple things, a couple ingredients I forgot. We're gonna put it in the uh, in the notes I forgot to add. So I actually pulled it back out and re-whipped that thing up. Uh, just salt and pepper to taste, about a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and a cup of milk. <laughs> and then I re-mixed uh, it, tossed it, loafed it up, put it back in the oven for 30 minutes. We got this ready. And uh, 30 minutes later, this was gonna happen. Okay, so 30 minutes later, my, how this thing is grown, it's spread out. So, we're gonna take this sauce, ladle it over the top a little bit, and then we got this nice little brush, so we're gonna evenly give it a nice little topping. Yeah. Get it nice and coated all the way around. 
Okay, so then we're gonna reinsert this baby back in the oven for another maybe 30 to 40. We're kind of checking it until the internal temperature of 165. And then uh, we're gonna get this here. Oh yes, and this is how it was looking when it come out after another about 30, 35 minutes. And I guess ain't nothing left to do but play, baby. Let's get to it. And there you have it. There you have it, people. Kitty's Kitchen, best meatloaf ever, baby. Savory, baby, for you. Comfort food, you know what I'm talking about? You know what? I think it's time to, you know, you know, you already know. Let's zoom on in. Slice zone. You know, I got the mashed mashed potatoes in the middle with the man savory gravy in that thing. Zone back I And uh yeah, man, we coasted on through comfort season, man. Let us know in the comments what you want to see us do next on Kenny's Kitchen. And we will serve it up to you. You know what I'm talking about if it's fly. And our uh, you know what we always say, it's all about flavor, baby. Keep on tuning in to all the platforms, whether it be Facebook, IG whether it be tastes.com, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate y'all. Keep on subscribing, telling your people to keep subscribing, telling your people's people to keep subscribing. And man, we'll see you next week. Church. Yeah, man, so there you have it, man. Best meatloaf this side of the bridge, baby. What bridge? The bridge. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, man. So, uh, like I said, man, we, all, we appreciate y'all for checking us out every week. You know what I'm saying? And uh, giving us inspiration, y'all inspire us to inspire y'all back. You know what I'm talking about? So uh, keep on tuning in, keep on subscribing. Tell your people's people to subscribe. And we'll catch y'all next week. All right? Church. So, uh,